sell Larry Fitzgerald. Since Arizona's switch from Mike McCoy to Byron Leftwich as offensive coordinator, they've averaged roughly nine more pass and rush attempts combined per game. Now that obviously helps the pieces in that offense to become more fantasy relevant, because volume drives this stupid game that we all love. And Larry Fitzgerald specifically has benefited from this change. Over the last three games, he's seen his target share jump from 19.6% with McCoy to 26.3% with Leftwich. And he's ranked as a top 30 PPR wide receiver in each of those three games. So why would you sell Larry Fitzgerald right now? Well, here's the thing. This Arizona offense has still not been that great. They've improved, but they're still not an offense that's easy to rely on in fantasy football. They were averaging 19 and a half yards per drive with Mike McCoy, and with Byron Leftwich, it's risen to 23.8. So there's been an improvement. But that 23.8 number is still the second lowest mark in the league over the last four weeks. And then all the while, during this Leftwich era, Josh Rosen has thrown a touchdown on 6.1% of his attempts. That's an above average touchdown rate league-wide. And considering you're talking about Josh Rosen here, a rookie who hasn't looked that great, you have to think that's going to regress a bit. I'd be shocked if Josh Rosen maintains a 6% touchdown rate through the end of the season. So I don't think that Larry Fitzgerald is necessarily a must sell, but I do think there are reasons to not be overly optimistic about him and his situation. It's just hard to envision Fitz racking up all these yards like we're used to seeing in that Arizona offense. 